and you, you're, you can market yourself much better. I mean, that's, that's basically all I can tell you. Uh, yeah, Silent, or Jay and Silent Bob there. Are you, are you dressed up as Jay, or do you just look like Jay? Look at him. Everybody look at that guy. He looks like... Directing is 
it's, it's much more micromanaging because it's, it's one line at a time. You have to make sure everything syncs and everything fits. If you're doing audio books, you know, and the other, you know, you'll sit there and if you could do the whole book without stopping, then that's what they want you to do, you know? So, I mean, if, yeah, some people who are real slick, I mean, they'll go pages and pages without screwing up or having to, you know, take a drink or turn a page, you know? Um, so that's, it's, it's very different. And also, direct, as I've directed some books too, it's, it's not micromanaging. You're not stopping them at every line when you can. You just make sure everybody's got their ducks in a row before you start. They pretty much you just catch them if they make mistakes, you know? Um, it, it's, yeah, it's extremely different. Uh, doing audiobooks takes quite, quite a bit of stamina. Um, the anime stuff, you know, often your sessions might be short. You know, you might work for an hour or two. I mean, some places you're trying, like, crank shows down real fast, and they'll have people work, work all day. I don't particularly recommend that, never. I, I, I don't like recording people for more than four hours at a clip, because everybody's focus starts to go, you get tired, etc. you know. And plus, like, honestly, the actors that I work with are both all the time doing other stuff, and it's not worth risking, like, writing your pipes, you know, because you have to do that all day. Now, for audio books, I mean, I've done all-day sessions doing audio books, but when you're doing books, you're not going, <laughs> You know, it's like when you will an anime stuff, you know, or just animation in general. But audiobooks are, it's, it's, a, it's a great kid. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Richard. Hi. Um, I, have, you, have you ever, like, uh, seen a voice acting character on TV that you look at and maybe you want it to do differently, or, you know, you want to take another way, you really want it to kind of get in that character? So a character that I did, that I played, and I looked back and saw it and said, oh, I wish I could change something. Oh, yeah, so like one that you did do. Oh, what I did. Oh, um, I don't know, um, Darcy's ring is freaking perfect the way it is. Tell me that, that, that could be improved with a good dub? No way. That show sucks. A good dub would just be a good dub of a shitty show. A horrible dub of a shitty show is funny! <laughs> um, yeah, Darcy's ring. That, I was, that was before my time at CPM, but I've seen it. Um, anyway. The uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance games, and this is coming, you know, from the guy who works on Pokemon now, you know, because a lot of people are like, ah, 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 and they change voices and whatever. But you know, it's business; shit happens. Voices change. But that is something where I play Marvel. Like, you have to think if you like the voices from one or two better. Do you like two? You're one. <laughs> changed them all up, so it's like a different guy playing Iron Man and Thor and Captain America and all that. And I got really used to the first ones, and I was just like, why didn't they go back? Why didn't they use those guys? And, but I, you know, but I didn't get angry and send them hate mail and send them Pokeballs okay, with nasty pictures on them. Which people do. Because I know why. It's money. It's business. It's whatever. You know, those actors were no longer available. They were, whatever, you know, you know, it's, it's business. But there were, there were things that but, like, that's one example I know of something where recently I was just like, you know. And it's not, it, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 sure isn't bad, but, huh? Yeah, right, the whole joke at the end is great. It's, I mean, it's good. It's, it just was, I, I liked the other thing better, you know. So, uh, all right, so we do. Uh, I just think you worked with a bunch of teams before.
that's how that stuff works. You know what I mean? So it, but I mean, if it's if it's a, a like it's sort of a core creative team, you, have, you just have to remember these are people who are representing you. You know what I mean? So you have to be solid with them like that. That you don't, you know what I mean? That you can trust them 